All right. Clearly, we got some K Bracks and Brack Cats loose running around here on the floor. Hello. We Today we them. are continuing in our series on quantum mechanics concepts, continuing with the theme of photon polarization. And if you'll recall, in the last video, we established a very important equation, which said that the if we look at the top line, that tells us what the math says that a Hermitian operator acting on a ket vector, which is called an eigenvector, will produce the same eigenvector, but multiplied by a real number, which is called Whoa. an eigenvalue. You wait. And the point is that this for gets every way operator, better. there will be at least two, in our case, there were only two, but there will be at least two I'm eigenvalues. Oh, sorry, eigenvectors, Put that away for right now. which we'll will have associated <laughs> eigenvalues. The point is the eigenvectors are different, and there is an associated different eigenvalue for each eigenvector. No That's the mathematics. Now, underneath, we put down what that means in terms of the physics, that the, the Hermitian operator, or I the Hermitian matrix, I've it's made the observable a button before. Or the I'll show you that button. It's, it's the experiment that you actually yeah, do to find something out. The eigenvector represents one of the many <laughs> states of the system, and each eigenvector represents one of those states. And as I've said, there are two or more, <laughs> and they are what's called orthogonal. What we mean by orthogonal is that if you are <laughs> definitely in one of those states, then you are definitely not in any other. And then the yeah, well, labor, uh, labor, eigenvalue we is stuff. the result of the experiment. We set up an experiment which generated a red or a green light, depending on whether the photon was vertically or horizontally polarized. We'll get into so the red later, and the green light, this angle or which that tell you whether it's or vertical it's this angle or horizontal, or that angle. that's essentially the that's result line, of the experiment. You one, can't directly measure the Here's the middle one. Operator. I'm going to do a 45 in this direction the, box. Um, I'm going to do a 45 in this direction box. But the eigenvalue, oh, which is the this measurable, the that is the result that you get, tells you right. what the eigenvector was and therefore tells screen. you what the state of the system was. Now, I just said that eigenvectors were orthogonal. No, this By is important. That, I mean that this is going to help you get your position you around the product product What do you mean, this thing here? He's going to talk about it to the set of lambda A, I, and A, K. These are make both eigenvectors of the same what do you mean? emission you operator. There. Then and it did that stuff. will come out to 1 if I equals K, and it will come out to naught if I does not Think equal K. It. And I can prove that for you or demonstrate it to be the case. Let's take a Hermitian operator acting on one of the eigenvectors, which we will just call A, made me work to off. produce lambda, and I'll give it a subset A to show that that is the eigenvalue associated with that eigenvector well, <laughs> multiplied by the same eigenvector. And let's assume that the same Hermitian operator oh, okay. acts on another yes. eigenvector, yes. which this one, one we'll call B, to produce lambda B times B. Or acting on B, it, I knew what we were getting into. So this is the same operator, but these A and B are the are two eigenvectors of that Hermitian operator. Now I can create something which looks like this. I can take this equation here and I can write this. Now what does this mean? This just means what, that you take H you? and you operate on A and that will give you a new ket vector. Mm. And then you take that new mm. ket vector mm. and you do yes. the inner product with B. That's all that Good means. Monkey. Well, what is that? That's simply <laughs> B. Yeah, there's a gorilla in that cage. That's right this there. here. There you go. Times HA and HA Careful. is lambda A times A. But when you've got a number, that yeah, number can come that outside we'll the be back um, inner product because it's just a number. And that gives you lambda this. A Wait, no, times right. the inner product of B this. with A. You do this. Now let's do it the other way around. We're going to take this equation here and we're going to do the inner product of this with A. So now we get that a, H, B, 
so we've done the inner product here of with A, is equal to A, well what is HB? HB is lambda B times B, but we can always take lambda B on the outside because it's just a number, so that equals lambda B with the inner product of A with B, and remember the order always matters in this case. Now I'm going to take this result here, and I'm going to complex conjugate both sides. Now let's just remind you that if you take AB and you complex conjugate it, you get BA. We, we discovered Ooh. that in the first the video. On, so that's just to remind you of a uh, uh, something that we've already learned. Wow. So if we take Send. this term here and complex conjugate it, essentially it just means reversing the two uh, eigenvectors. So that becomes B I want to do this, H this, A. This. And that's yes, going to be equal to no. lambda B. And that's a real number, so you don't have to complex conjugate that. Okay, we want the button though. B A. In other words, you reverse these two. Okay, now and if you're wondering why I didn't okay. complex conjugate H, which I should have done, the answer of course is it's a Hermitian operator and where you've got a Hermitian operator, it equals its own complex conjugate. So I didn't need to do that. So this is just this equation here, Where all you, complex is conjugate. It one? No, it's not this one. And now you'll notice Probably that I've got two equations <laughs> with B, H. This is the Dayport daily. Um, it's the Dayport all the time. B, H, A equals <laughs> lambda A, B, A. So they don't do nothing. And here These we've ones got B, H, A equals I can't get lambda them to do nothing. B, they are B, buttons. A. They go nowhere. So if I subtract this one goes the two, can we get them both better. on the screen? Yes. If I take that one minus that one, and <laughs> that minus that, I'm so I'm effectively subtracting ball. one from the other, Obviously, on this side, B H A minus B H A is going to equal zero. Some hidden code near and on this stuff. side, oh, I'm amazing. going to have lambda A into the inner product B and A. Sorry, lambda Just A into the inner product, make it product on the B and A. Yeah, no, minus no. lambda B into the inner product <laughs> of B and A. So lambda A. Uh. Minus so lambda here. B. You know, the into breakdown on this is, is in the same B way of what I'm doing and playing with you. Now, in order for that product you break to be it down equal to in the zero, same way, well, you should be able to break it down in the same way and such. You get to controls well, dark we've world already established building, that lambda a hello world, change the droid around, put it around, get it to say a button, and different how to get a pop up to come into with this, has edges, do stuff with those edges. So lambda A and, and lambda same B are different, they cannot be the same, so when you subtract one from the other, you don't get zero. Highs and lows Consequently, it is that term just there the pixels that must that be region. zero. And if you've got the inner product of two eigenvectors that comes to zero, we, we showed you know, that that means that they were this is fantastic. Don't and then we wrong. also learned in the last video of a term we which looks do other like things this. with the way this Behave. What that means is, like, what it's are we the doing inner product of here? X with y. In terms and for of physics purposes, what it the script is giving me to actually, amplitude. again, when you have to just figure out how a world droid, the, the rip down y, on this is just straight what is down the probability to this, 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 get rid of this, and this that is, is already by extra this steps of problems from the core y. source material that gets you to just get the, these parts first. You the and you're going to jump right into the app layout, this thing's going to crack open to you, you're going to see more colors and symbols and shapes, and you've and the possible. conjugate, complex conjugate of x, y. <laughs> you we write that as the modulus there, of it? the probability amplitude squared. And I explained oh, that I'm you cannot it. prove that that is the case. Your, it is asserted that that is the probability amplitude and that the square is the probability. <laughs> and it works. It, it always works. <laughs> so, we, so we stick with it. And then we looked at four states of polarization. Is from here photons. you're going to see different things. I've just written them out to say we're writing them out again. I didn't we looked at the state of the polarization that was entirely any, horizontal. Any we represented that by the eigen very different uh, things. vector 1, 0. I didn't oh, tell you why, but that I will might be explain in a moment. For program limit you could space write that as being on one the Apple phone, you know what I'm talking about? X is the horizontal. Yeah, um, like 
You're gonna have to learn to get in here and fix those things, debug those things, and it's definitely like right there, cheap, down, dirty. This is the x-axis. This is the y-axis. Then this would be entirely along the x axis. The ones and zeros from radio waves would be go, uh, by the length look, of here, that's Hugh Gilligan one, and the skipper, and Professor the and, and Ginger Mary. And you'll recall that that yeah. eigenvector right, had so an I'm eigenvalue nice. of plus one. Then we looked at the vertical no, the polarization, which we characterized as having you, Fred, the Bill, Jim, Ann, and Jane. One. And that could be written as naught along the x-axis because there is no horizontal component plus